I fight for myself. I fight for this club. I fight for Chattanooga. I fight for it. anything that's behind me. What drives me to keep boxing and winning, I just love success. <laughs> I guess I had to say, I just love the sport of boxing, and I just like to be top. This guy right here is Ryan Martin. I've been boxing since I was seven, and I won lots of stuff. <laughs> the biggest ones I can name is the National Junior Golden Gloves, the World Ring Sides, the National Silver Gloves. I want you to look at all these. Is that, is that what y'all won? Man, those are nice, aren't those? Those are sharp. Ryan Martin, um, he's uh, he won the, the uh, USA Under-19 Nationals, got to represent the United States at the Cadet World Championships. You know, he's a eight-time national champion, uh, one-time world champion. Ryan is a good example. He's had a gosh, 130, 140 bouts. He's been all over the nation, won all kinds of awards, and, and so he's a gentleman too. He knows how to conduct himself in public, and he's a good example for these other kids. He works hard, and it's probably one of the main reasons he's successful. He doesn't quit, and he doesn't, like, he's not lazy. Like, everything he does, he tries hard. When you box, you boxing every weekend, you ain't got time to hang with your friends or really do nothing bad. So you out there winning, and keep traveling, so uh, that's what most kids in here doing right now, just trying to stay out of trouble. We began this boxing program uh, in the fall of 1999 with, with the idea of uh, using the sport of boxing to reach inner city kids. And, um, you know, over the years what we've tried to do is take this program, teach these kids uh, life lessons such as hard work, discipline, uh, focus, self-esteem, and then use those tools in their everyday lives. And, and so, you know, uh, over the years we've seen a lot of, had a lot of success uh, through this program, you know, getting down to each individual kid and, and where they go from here. You get on something to do, I mean, especially if you like to fight. If you like to fight and then you get fighting in the streets and you come to the gym and they be like, I can't get in trouble for hitting somebody. So that's, that's why I get most response out of people who come off the streets and like, they like to fight, they like to box because they can't get in trouble for beating up somebody for winning and stuff like that. So I said it's cool. You know, the, the hardest thing that's been for me over the years is, um, is keeping, you know, not giving certain kids more attention than others because there are certainly those that, you know, start at eight years old and they stay with us, you know, for years and years at a time. And, and, it, and it's hard not to grow an attachment to them, but at the same time, this sport is, because it's a one-man sport, it's, it's the, the athlete himself and then his coach. And he just, like, like my brother, we, we got a bond that's so tight. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> so, uh, what well, they done a lot for me, though, I have to say. And they, I know they always gonna be there for me and make me uh, make sure I make the right decisions. So they just there for me at times. So we done a lot together. We've been through a lot, ups and downs, some stuff like that. But we came over all that adversity stuff and we right back on track. You know, a lot of times you're gonna get knocked down and you're gonna face uh, things that don't go your way and you're gonna face adversity. The type of person, the type of character that you have is how you handle adversity. I never get discouraged over Blade Nose. What just happened, it, it motivated me to work harder because I know I got hit with a, with a punch that I shouldn't have got hit with. You get judges that really don't think you, they don't think you won the fight, but you really did. They can take the fight from you if you let them. I had to say that's discouraging because it make you want to just, you know, make you feel like you can win. If you look at it on TV and you just see them in there fighting, you just think, I can do this. But you thinking for three minutes, you in there on your feet, focusing of not getting hit, and then you throwing punches at the same time and your heart rate goes up and down, and you just, you, know, you run out of breath sometimes and you can't, you out of shape. So condition is the main key of boxing. If you ain't in shape, 
you ain't gonna survive. So I had to say that's the that's the top thing. And the other thing is skill. When I was little, like you see the little guys in the gym, we fall every weekend. Every weekend. No days off. Like we we our season is year round. Like basketball they do a couple months and they lay off. We consistent. We we go all year round. we we are boxing somewhere every weekend just about. You know, unless it's a holiday weekend. It's year round and we're, and we're boxing every weekend somewhere. We as coaches try to put uh, you know, make a, a fine line between who wants to be here and who's here to just hang out. And so uh, what we try to do is kind of weed the kids that are just here just to say they box, you know, and, and focus on the kids that are here that really want to be here. The biggest thing I like about boxing is you get to travel and see the world and meet different people. Yeah, that's, that's the best thing about it. And then you get to fight Russians and hear all the other people talk to you after the fight, like, man, you're good, and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, it's great. You know, I, I gotta tell you, I, probably more than anything, the reason why uh, I continue to do this on a daily basis is just to make a difference in somebody's life. The most rewarding thing uh, doing this, honestly, is seeing the success from these kids. It's a blessing to me to see kids succeed through this sport. I'm an A-plus at boxing, so I know I can perform well, and I get in there doing my thing, I know I come out on top. I only got nine titles under my belt, so it's a lot. And the biggest one, I think, is still yet to come. The next goal I'm shooting for, really, is the United States Olympic team. So that's that's the big thing coming up for me next, and that's what I'm going for. We got to make it, can't lose, so that's what I'm going for.